morning, good morning, guys and gals. Yes, indeed, it is a good morning. <clears throat> We're sitting here at a uh, small truck stop here in Clearwater, Minnesota. And I have gotten a request a while back ago to show or let you guys listen into what it sounds like uh, starting my truck when it's cold. So I don't know if you can hear that. My, my AP unit is currently running. But uh, let's go ahead and turn the key and let's start up the truck and I'll let you guys listen to it. So here we go. Turning on the key. You probably want to hear buzzing noise because that's because my air pressure is a little low. So here we go on the count of one, two, three. Yeah, the buzzer that you hear is from uh, my air pressure being low. You can see that right there. It says stop. Yeah, you can see that right over here on this gauge right here. That's my air pressure. And I think I got somewhere a small leak or whatever. Every time overnight, the air pressure will go down to about 60, a little under 60, and not about 60 psi. The uh, buzzer is supposed to come on, so and it does do the job, right? And that's also part of the pre-trip to make sure that your buzzer does work because uh, when you do your pre-trip you're supposed to inspect it and make sure that it actually does work you know that's part of the safety and uh, your buttons are supposed to pop out when you uh, press your brakes in so anyways I just figured I would show you guys that there was a truck going by here so that's why the Sun didn't shine in here for a second but uh, anyways that's what it sounds like starting up my truck when it's cold so uh, We'll get out of here and then we'll get our day started. Appreciate you guys tuning in. All right, guys, it is time to get out of here. Yeah, we had our time off over here. So let's get our ass out of here. Yeah. Looks like it's gonna be a gorgeous day out here today. That is for sure. Now this is a dirt lot here in the back, but you know, you can almost always find parking in here and that's the good thing about this place, you know. I got here quarter to 11 last night and I had no problem getting me a parking spot here, so. Yeah, there is still a few parking spots left, so. But anyways, we're getting our day started. It is now 9.30 in the morning. Yeah, I could have left at 9 o'clock, so I guess I'm leaving half an hour late. But, you know, I had that uh, holiday train video last week Friday that I was releasing it. When you watch this, this is going to be the following Friday. So, I had that video last week Friday and... Uh, what I went ahead and did is uh, I went on some websites uh, like uh, Take the entrance to the left on I-94 West. Global News from Winnipeg and some of the news organizations up there, and I sent them an email asking them if they wouldn't mind uh, featuring my video there on their website and, and whatever, or maybe even on the air. And, they said they would love to and I contacted the weather channel and asked them if they would uh, consider maybe sharing the word a little bit about that video I think that turned out to be a really nice video footage so so yeah we'll see what happens uh, I already got an email back from Global News uh, they're wanting to put it on their website and I also got an email back from the Weather Channel. They are saying they're going to forward that to their uh, editing people or whatever. And uh, they'll look at it and see what they think. And maybe they're even going to share it. So we'll see. Continue on this road. We'll so see what happens. Miles. Yeah, we got 186 miles to go to Fargo, North Dakota. Hopefully all of that snow and ice has been cleared up there on I-29 and 75 going into Manitoba. That would be very, very nice. Yeah. 
yes indeed it is a very nice calm day if I would have had time I would have probably flew in my drone again a little bit today but oh well I don't have time right now I might however take it to my buddy in Winnipeg and fly it up there a little bit show him a little bit on how I fly it and all that stuff but it is supposed to be really cold so it would be kind of nice to uh, fly it tonight for a few minutes just to see how it's going to handle the cold I know you're not supposed to fly it in too cold over weather so you know I gotta find out see how it handles the cold right well we'll find out but anyways let's make our way home sweet home guys that's coming right along with the Trucker Rudy Show, would you? Alrighty guys, we are now coming into Fargo, North Dakota. Yeah! This is where everybody was shut down at there a couple of days ago because of the snowstorm up here. Oh, there's another penner coming down here. Yeah, we'll be entering into North Dakota right about now. Mr. RJ, you want to tell him? RJ, come on, wake up! Hello, Mr. RJ. Where are you? Crossing the border, entering North Dakota. There you go. Yeah, here we are. We are officially in North Dakota. Just cruising right along here. We're already got 300 kilometers behind us now. So we got us uh, another four hours until we get home, sweet home. Yeah, that's right. Oh well. I may decide to stop in uh, Grand Forks and take me a shower in Grand Forks because I really need to take me a shower. I was going to do that last night and then, uh, I don't know, I got there so late, I was so tired, I didn't feel like taking a shower at that time. I figured that's probably just going to wake me right up and then uh, I wouldn't be able to fall asleep and I didn't want to do that. so. Then I decided, nah, I ain't taking a shower. And then I was going to do that this morning. And then, you know, I had my uh, train video and all of that. And I got busy emailing people about it and whatever. And then that didn't happen. So, uh, so yeah. Now we need to take us a shower somewhere. I don't want to smell like this when I get home to the family, you know. I really don't want to. So we'll see. Oh, there is another penner coming so I guess everybody was stuck here or at home they couldn't go so I guess everybody is leaving now <laughs> yeah anyways we'll uh, continue on with our journey here and see what else we will be able to show you today here we are in Grand Forks North Dakota ladies and gentlemen Look at all the snow that they have gotten over here over the last little while. This is why the roads were shut down. We went over here to the Fly and J and uh, had us a much needed shower. Yes, indeed, we did need to have the shower. Oh, yeah. Take the entrance to the left. Oh, there goes another penner right there. Yeah. We're going to be following him because <laughs> I'm heading towards the border myself. But I needed to make a pit stop here, use the bathroom anyways and all that good stuff. So I said, well, then I'm just going to quickly grab my clothes and run in and take me a shower and all that good stuff right away too. And so we went ahead and did that stuff and here we are. We're gonna hammer down back towards Manitoba. Yeah, winter has officially arrived, you can say. There is still some patchy spots over here. Like I, uh, just before I got here to Grand Forks, there was some pretty slick Continue spots up there. There was even a couple of four-wheelers broke down and all that good stuff. Or well, not broke down, the, uh, spun out and hit the ditch you know and, uh, yeah right here the road, road looks like it's just wet but there was some ice patches there that's for sure and I wouldn't be surprised if it's only good through uh, through far, uh, Grand Forks here and then uh, 
past Grand Forks, it'll probably be icy again, but oh well, we'll have to deal with it. Looks like we will be home about quarter after five. That's what it looks like. All right, guys, we are now officially back in Manitoba. Yeah, we've been in Manitoba here now for a little bit. We're actually in Morris, Manitoba. Just kind of on the outskirt of Morris, but yeah. We're in Morris, Manitoba. We're actually on Highway 23, leaving Morris to go home. We got 68 kilometers to go, and we'll be home sweet home, guys. Yeah, I can't wait to go home, guys. Yeah, it's been a good trip, but uh, you know, I got something planned here for tonight, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Not what you guys are thinking. Maybe. Some of you might think that. We got a barbecue plan for tonight. What were you guys thinking? <laughs> Shame on you if you were dirty thinking. <laughs> I'm just joking with you guys anyways. Just having a good time, having fun. I'm happy, happy, happy. Roads are fairly decent. I mean, this is normal winter condition driving up here. You know, nothing nothing scary up here at least not for me so yeah anyways we are home sweet home pretty much we're back in Canada that's for sure but I have seen quite a few trucks being towed today and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they're frozen up so what we're gonna do is make sure that once we get to Steinbach we're gonna go fuel up the truck make sure that that doesn't happen to us right we don't want to be the one getting towed to a shop to get defrosted or whatever you want to call it <laughs> yeah I might have a tip video on that later but I'll show you maybe what kind of product I use and maybe do a little bit of a tip show on that but as of right now we're just going to focus on getting home sweet home yeah I love it so let's go home and let's get some barbecue. Mm -mm -mm, I'm hungry. All right, guys, we told you we were gonna be barbecuing, and yes, we are. Look at this guy over here. Oh my goodness. Oh my, you got all kinds of meat up here, eh? Oh, yeah. oh boy, Sheep. oh boy. Yeah, look at that, eh? Look at that steam go up there. This is all the snow we've gotten over here the last couple of days. But yeah, we got some kind of barbecue going. Oh my goodness. Are you guys hungry yet? I hope you are because I am. We're gonna get to eating here in a minute. <laughs> behind me that day is gonna come 